Oh, what's up guys? This is the Brokeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play. That's the Bavarian Empire. To pick up where we left off, we have a bridge battle. Finally, it looks like we get to catch a lot of the enemy troops uh, across the river. So let's get at it. <laughs> Haven't had one of these in a while. And sorry, I'm out of breath. I just ran up the stairs after hanging my laundry out. Oh uh, yeah, we haven't had a bridge battle in a while. Should be pretty neat. So as usual, deploy at the river and cut the enemies to ribbons. So so so. Let's see how the river looks. Snowy battle. Bridge on the left. Board on the right. So we know the enemies always seem only really interested in attacking the ford. So let's take the bulk of our troops and just get them over here rapidly. Let's try trail a gun team up to the ford as well. Keep the other two deployed somewhere like here. I mean, uh, that's not really a good position to deploy defences. Let's keep you guys here. Maybe one cavalry unit to help out. Keep the bulk of the cavalry on the crossing, plus the general. So, let's get cracking. Boy, you men might. So. You men like so. Mercenaries. Blocked in the center. You guys like so. How much does open up? Skirmishers. Get over here. Oh, nudges. Uh oh. You men. Fall back. Here I see earth. By time. Okay, that's not ideal. Gunners. Limber up. Cavalry just got mown down by a Russian cannonball. Redeploy. Howitzers chuck quickline. These howitzers are limber with canister shot. There's a horse guard, so drop in the square. You should be okay. <laughs> yeah, just might have to sacrifice one of my units. Use this deploy square. Let's deploy my cavalry up here as well. Okay, you haven't got to worry about that anymore. Keep running. One of my infantry units is broken. Ah, oh, sharpshooter shot him in the back. That certainly doesn't help. So let's deploy something like this. Howitzers begin to quick line the enemy crossing the bridge because we need to start clearing them up as quick as we can. So my howitzer, my cat, my Curacier have actually done pretty good. It's this Polish army that's really thrown it all out of whack. Just deploy my guns like so. I need to keep attacking the enemy because they're six pound a horse artillery. Oh, they were routing, but they came back. So my little infantry drop into square. Actually, shrapnel shot attack ground. Both my howitzers just keep quick climbing. Ooh, shrapnel shots coming in. That must have been that must have been quick climb coming in. It was. For these infantry, just hold firm. You will break the enemy. You men and limber. 
You need to be pivoted. Okay, cross here, try cross the river to engage the enemy guns in force, because there's an enemy regiment of horse that's going to try and stop you. Okay, there goes the enemy cavalry. Aim at this unit of horse artillery. Shells landing all around him, knocked out two of the gun teams. So it looks like Poland doesn't want to actually deploy up to support their ally. Felt Jaeger push. So those guns are just obliterating our infantry. Okay, cavalry don't cross, because these guns look like they are gonna win. Quicklime's coming in and just doing an excellent job against the enemy. The skirmishers are doing some Excellent shooting. Across the river. Push around the flanks. Our maneuver and destroy their artillery. Oh, that's horse guard artillery. That's why. That's part of the reason why that artillery is so damn effective. Because it is damn effective. Still more Russians attempting to cross the river. Quick line were to come in right now, that would be perfect. Still reloading. You men pursue the enemy general. The enemy has left some of his rear exposed here. This cavalry will destroy the horse guard, hopefully. I mean, they are skirmish cavalry, so they could well fail. The artillery and musketry done its job. Both artillery is attacking, but should be quicklime coming in imminently. Must we missed it. That's enemy counter battery coming in. These militia are going to be repulsed. There we go. There goes the enemy Russian artillery. Attack the mercenaries. Belt Jaeger. Push up this infantry that was so badly damaged from enemy artillery fire. Advance! With this cavalry in support, there we go. That's the broken the guerrilla mercenaries, shattered. Let's just push up and start to nibble away one unit at a time. The militia have made it up to my front line, but they are being fired upon at point blank. And that has caused them to break. Even my Sharpshooters did not collapse from that. The artillery's going in. Swarm and attack them one unit at a time. And you've done a fantastic job holding for all this time. But the idea now is that we can form our defensive line. The cavalry will knock out one enemy unit at a time. Or if not, it looks like ultimately the enemy force here is going to be out of commission. Gunners aim at six pounder horse artillery up on the hill. Artillery do danger close fire support. You might engage the mercenaries, grant these are fusiliers, but Freikor line. 
we can repel this Russian attack one last time. Gunners are doing a real number on the 8th. Still have enemy troops coming in. Through the mercenaries. Keep on attacking. This is gonna be this is gonna hurt. Okay, right, General. Get over here. Sending their skirmishes up against my artillery, which is a smart move, I must admit. They've done the right thing there. They sent the regiment of horse in. That, those units, cavalry units, would be dead. Cavalry right in against the irregulars. Okay, looks like. Okay, form our second defensive line. You men both try withdraw. Still slogging out against the European infantry. Quick climb, danger close. The new defensive line form here. These men should be enough, or will be enough. To dissuade the 99th from attacking, these guns can still hit them with canister shot, not a canister shot, trap or shot. My cavalry here is pretty spent. Then charge them all in against one infantry unit. My fusiliers have held off magnificently. Now my general is here. gun crews make for the safety of the hill I'm afraid there's gonna be some friendly fire imminently more gunfire yep here it is boom concentrated enemy threat Get my cavalry back over to the safety of my lines. They may have to evade some fire to get there, but get there they shall. They've been picked off by my skirmishers. One last action against these horse artillerymen, but my riflemen are able to engage at long range. Adding more Russian corpses to flow down the river. Okay. Quick line focus on the horse. On, on the units of cavalry, I should say. Not on focus on the horse. Sounds a bit simplistic. There we go. They're advancing up the 7th Regiment of Foot. Quick climb coming in. That's, that's knocked a hole in you. Okay, that is the enemy threat here covered. Artillery. Stay where you are. Hold the bridge. Men up here. To redeploy one of my howitzers to engage the enemy line. Yeah, East European mercenaries, you're being chipped away. So your horses are still here, so you can actually limber up and provide support. Felt Jaeger Sophia. Push forward with your guns. They've 
charged our line, but my general's right here. Enemy cavalry's broken. No, they're, oh, they're not broken. Oh, no! Look at that. Ceasefire. Send my heavy cavalry up to attack the 23rd. Okay, there they go. Yes, I am going to continue. You men go after garrison guards, you go after European mercenaries, you go after the dragoons, you men go after the mercenaries. Ceasefire. Although gunners and everyone can attack that unit. There we go. Kill as many Polish and Russian dogs as possible. We'll teach them to stand against us. These European infantry mercenaries aren't a massive problem. There we go. Destroyed the enemy there. There's a unit back there that's running away. Huzzah! Okay, ignore the unit that's about to run off the map. You may as well at least improve the target or the, the uh, pathfinding of this unit. Come on. Destroy them all. Come on, you're getting better and better. They're trying to run across the bridge. Don't let them. It's one last guy. Okay, don't attack him, but cross the bridge as fast as you can. Smash. Yeah, that was a lot dodgier than I would have liked. Kind of the point of having them on the bridge is on the river is that you can push them down the river. Especially when it's two Russian units and a Polish unit. Yeah, they were all across the river. Moscow is at threat. Oh, you're going to attack one of my ships, are you? Let's see how many men a light galley can kill. Not any. In fact, they've been captured. Fear not, Russia. Your end is near soon anyway. We don't even have to try and attack your fleet. You can achieve precious little as it is. In fact, it looks like they've just sold their Polish ally up the river by moving their armies away from the uh, their last territory. You can raid as much as you like, Russia. Honestly, have at it. Persia is slightly trickier. But at least we have troops in the region. So, last turn was a big turn. We're going to try and repair it. You men are going to stay here because you're covering this crossing and this crossing. What we really want is more men. That's what you're going to try and provide, Wilfred Ugner. Yes. You are going to be the focus of another great army. So you're replenishing well. You've pushed out to secure Ardabil and we'll actually move up to the enemy coast. Well, enemy frontier rather, not the enemy coast. And some sweet upgrades, including to the road network. Enemy raid at Narva. That's okay. You've at least gone the way I want you to go. So Mr. Ehrenberg, who's been at Riga for an awful long time, can push up and guard that gap. So you recruit a light galley. You guys push north and hit the last... Fragments of this raiding army. Wolfgang. So then you guys can push to the south of Vilnius. Then this force, Mr. Eisler, 
can advance. Putting Lviv under threat. We don't want to push here too much because that could cause some upset. Keep upgrading. So if you even push north, that would free up this force here. I asked you to threaten Kiev or Kiev. You men are pushing towards Crimea. You're going to demand the surrender of the town. There is no one here to save you. My cavalry are going to push down Sevastopol. Yeah. They're going to sink the enemy fleet. Secure the port intact. Put you guys into port and repair. Repair the military governor's barracks. Build new cobbled roads. Send my spy upon to Cherkask. You men spy on to Astrakhan. You men demand the surrender of Komi. Can you continue to drive on? You can. On to Ufa. Church school. Destroy it. Got to replace it with a good Catholic building. Although we may struggle because they've got a agent in here who will complicate matters. Infiltrate Kazan. Workers on strike in Georgia, but they've chilled out. Okay, let's get a lot of buildings built. We've really done well here, busting through the Russian front to the point where well, we are going to roll up these Russians in short order. This force, when they're replenished, are going to go help the front line against Persia. So, Bordy House. Okay, we're upgrading the church school. That's good. We are going to make sure we want our um, highways good in this part of the world because we have a number of armies traipsing south through the Caucasus. So, Armenia, I've already started building the better roads. Army Staff College in Jerusalem. Okay. Church school here in Ankara because they're going to be a bit of a tough nut to crack, but crack they will. Okay, you're still driving. We're going to drive through to about here. Good work. Okay. Then it's Spain. Recruits. I think it might be three regular units of infantry. This will be the army I send to attack. Cagliari and then Valletta finally secure that. Let's recruit another light galley. Let's go and secure a Naba. Actually, no, I've already got one. My mistake. It really, yeah, we've got a significant amount of things we can upgrade right now. Upgrade the fishing fleets, upgrade the iron workshops in Cairo. Ultimately, I think this is all we want to do right now. Just focus on boosting our economy wherever possible. Because right now I want to take advantage of the fact that we're storming around the enemy rear with little to no interference from the enemy. I would like to put Lviv under siege. It will draw in, that's a lot of enemy reinforcements here. So if that battle is going to happen, I want it to be with us on the defensive. And I will mass more troops in the area. There we go. So you men combine your strength. Eh, try to try to take out that agent. No, oh, they spotted us. Odessa, you can't create a trade port. 
church, go to church school, spread some of that sweet, sweet Catholicism. Overall, though, this is going to be the end of the enemy soon. When this army pushes up, we can knock out this force and then push on towards Minsk. As it is, I mean, we're busting through most of the enemy front. You know, we've chased down those enemy enemies to the north. Nice. So there's lots of raiding potential for the enemy behind our lines, but none of our cities are currently exposed. Oh, I didn't replenish the army on the bridge. If we're attacked, we will withdraw. Ooh, enemies. Yeah, we will. We will withdraw. So they've secured the bridge. See, the enemy still does have strength. But this is why I want to drive up through the south and from the east as quickly as possible. You can try and run around us. You can take Petrovskaya. We've got an army to the north. That was always going to be a risk. It's not a lot you're probably going to want to destroy, though. Okay, good. They've crossed over to the correct side of the bridge. Pirates are going to pirate. I mean, the Americas is completely off my radar for now. <laughs> We're really focusing on making sure we get things in. Europe sorted, so to the okay, so you guys you're a little bit out of position. So maybe go south of the woods, because you're a threat. You men can advance back towards Petrovskaya. This force here is just a garrison, chiefly. You come back here and attack that Russian raiding force. Yeah, just destroy them. Get back to where you were. Okay, so... Let's distract. Demand the surrender of the garrison. Because they did not want to attack us. They did not want to withstand us. Take advance, interchangeable parts. They've gone straight on the percussion shells. That's good. Port blockaded, port blockaded, construction report. Just want to get that road upgrade built. Just attack that last enemy concentration. So they are to the south and to the north. You're probably going to squeak up just a bit to the north just to make sure that we prevent... Well, you guys may end up driving south. Mr. Strack. Attack those troops just outside of the city gates. You are replenished. I'll go straight for Chikask. I mean, just keep everyone driving forward towards the Russians at every opportunity. Such as you, Mr. Leitner, because you can put Kiev under siege. You men drive up to fill up gaps in the front line. Can't repair that because it's not ours. Yeah, you men just fortify or replenish, I should say, not fortify. We've got a lot of stuff we can upgrade. Okay, let's go on the port upgrading crusade. Global trading companies, they'll soon suck the money out of you. Don't even really need steam dry docks, but let's build them just to get rid of the hammers. Oh, come on. Yeah. That's 
one mid tier. There it is. There's an example of what we can build. Good. I mean, I want to see if these guys do something. I'm happy just to keep depleting Garrison of Lviv, but I want to see if Russia steps forward to try and protect them, and we have a large battle because that could be quite fun. You may cross the river. Okay. No attack on the horizon. Let's hit end turn. <laughs> Starting to bring more forces to bear to concern the Persians. I mean, we've got Moscow. We've got an army within striking range of Moscow if you want to take them out. Uh, you guys just... Yep. Ag. <laughs> yeah, they've got a road to St. Petersburg if they wish to use it. You may now attempt to outflank me, but that's not going to work because I can just march straight on to your population center and demand its surrender. Steal technology all you like, Russia. Ooh, oh, nearly. Oh, they don't want to actually see. They don't want to actually assault me. They are going to stay outside the walls and try and buy some time. That's actually quite smart. But this force that has replenished, let us repulse them once more, because we have well, we have a growing number of armies on the front lines in Persia. So while they're attacking us, they there are fewer armies around their capital. So soon Esfahan will fall, then onward to Afghanistan. First, oh, poor souls. This is the perfect terrain for my army. I want to sit here and shred you with musketry from their protected positions. I don't even have to worry about having cavalry protection. This is perfectly adequate. These men stay behind. There's a bit of reserve. Put my cavalry together. You know, you're going to focus on their artillery. Did you outgun us? Send some cavalry out on the flank. Send our skirmishes on the left. Militia and so on on the right. Ooh. <laughs> I shredded my desert warriors with shrapnel shot. That's how it's going to be. We haven't knocked out one of their gunners yet. Fire a volley. There you go. Skirmish cavalry took a volley. Now we're in. Ammo gunners. Not ideal. Get around the flank. Can they change their targeting priority? New men form a more secure front line while these cavalry blast the camel gunners. Engage the enemy infantry as it gets closer. Push my cavalry hard up the flank because the enemy guns are going to become vulnerable. 
my dragoons have a good shot against the against the Chevro Legere. My skirmish cavalry is just annihilating the camel gunners. Pursue them. Get my cavalry out. And they're starting to redeploy their guns. Skirmishers, engage! Cheval Leger, kill that artillery. The human keep chasing down the gunners, which you have done. Now attack the horsemen. You may attack the general's bodyguard. Bring my line infantry on the right to play. We're about to see a bit of a masked bayonet charge here on, on our line. Gunners withdraw. I'm starting to see a bit of an enemy retreat. Kill the gunners. He men engage the Kizil Bashi. They're okay in melee combat, but they're not great. You men continue to blast the enemy. Let's try to thread our cavalry through this gap into the back of this melee combat here. Ignore the general's bodyguard. Ignore the general's bodyguard. Ignore sick. Keep attacking. Go straight through him. Straight into this enemy concentration. Ah, you men fire at will. Ignore cavalry. You guys come forward to attack the camel gunners. Massive enemy morale collapse here. You men form your lines. Skirmishes pivot. They get these dragoons engage the camel gunners. Because they too are wavering. Some infantry have broken on the flank. Eh, I should have a skirmish mode on really. You men smash into the musketeers. You men drive forward into the back of this unit of Kizilbashi. You men are going to kill a few camels on the way out, but you're also going to hit the sixth order. We're already upset at it as it is. It does feel like with. It does feel like with. Uh, to shot your gunners kind of reload and stuff a bit faster. Engage the 10th. Okay, my gunners, reman your guns. You men ignore that combat, drive straight through here. You guys keep attacking the Kizilbashi. Chevrolet pull out. You're blasting holes in the line of the tent. You men that have come back are ready and able to open fire on the enemy. Skirmishes are still ready. Try 
drive human forward. Where's my general? Get my general involved. To be honest, these gunners can just cease fire. Get my general over here. Come on. Get involved. Come on. The right flank should be okay. I have plenty of support. Switch trap was shot. Focus on the general's bodyguard at range. General's bodyguard, pursue them. Get my actual fighty cavalry more into the well, the fight. There we go. We've turned their flank. And now they don't know what to do about it. 40th Auto being picked off by my skirmishers. You fools, just retreat. Many of your comrades have already done so. Death comes for you. Artillery ceasefire. The infantry just jump on the general's bodyguard. Skirmishers have retreated, they've broken under concentrated musket fire. Let's withdraw. New men jump on the general's bodyguard. You should fear us mightily. If we can win with basic infantry, you wait till we get actual advanced artillery. Not two batteries of 12 pounders. Hordes of heavy artillery and howitzers and all sorts of good stuff. Kill the enemy general. both help this auto die looks like actually that's gonna be it so a lot of units are going to escape I mean this one isn't I mean, you chase after the sixth and I want to get over to my general general's bodyguard is going to successfully flee as are all of these guys, I would wager. Yep, they are. The cavalry's coming close. But they will successfully flee. Yeah, that, that was a bit dicey, I must admit. Hordes of Indian troops should not be underestimated. They, are, they can be scary. But a 3 to 1 kill ratio is pretty good. Chevalier, unsurprisingly, right at the top, falling on from all that uh, slaughter and death. Pirates gone pirate. But now at least your end will come, pirates. Okay, I'm gonna stop repairing that because <laughs> you men repair. Just stand right here. And this force under Cast and Cray can push up to this bridge. You men hold this bridge. You men drive into this area. You chaps put Esfahan under risk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, actually, that's not that bad. I mean, demand the surrender of Taki, although I'm not going to fight that. That's just a waste of time for a siege. So Dagestan is definitely one that uh, will take a bit of it'll take a bit of time to bring them over into our way of thinking. Well, they're only minus two actually. Demand the surrender of Cherkask. Strategic 
strategic priority roads. We are going to have a lot of men driving down through this region. So the better natural causes. One of our gentlemen. Natural causes. Another gentleman. Better roads. Come on, old fella. I mean, can you even get a port up here? No. So technically you rely on... Moscow, I suppose, to export it. No, Moscow doesn't border you either. Oh, okay. Severomorsk. When Severomorsk shows up. Put them under siege. I'm not going to attack them. Just siege, because this army is replenishing still. You are attempting attack St. Petersburg we can so if they don't attack next turn we will have the relief of St. Petersburg is coming you men can engage that Polish force push it back Mr. Tauber you've been a steadfast ally lots of bits and pieces wandering around you men come south mr volopayev keep on replenishing okay you've got three pleasure gardens you could do with one of them being destroyed and being replaced actually we've got a yeah we've got a polish missionary over here converting the people anyway. Uh, pleasure gardens, let him be happy. These men these men have been conquered. Let them enjoy some happiness. See the effort <laughs> so slowly ticking away at Lviv. If you didn't fight us, we'll fight you. I mean it will be a big fight as well, so I'm gonna wanna keep well, yeah, you guys just, uh... <laughs> I'll take the city then, if you're going to not defend it. Give them true, true protection. Show them what it means to be part of our empire. Actually, this is really quite undeveloped. Goes to show what happens in AI regions. They've not even they haven't even built basic iron mines. New men replenish. Guard the bridge. Ooh, maybe not, actually. They are really unhappy. Keep upgrading the church school. It'll take a bit of a bit of converting will help. And just a few waiting a few turns will also help. Yeah, raids and so on. I'm fairly sure this is going to be okay. Just keep dropping economy upgrades. You're going to take a bit of time. But once you rebuild the Sublime Porte, you're going to be okay. Upgrade the church school here. Upgrade the port and add a light galley. How long will it take for you to give up Balthazar Barber? Minus eight. It will take a few turns. So you're not within range. So you're pretty good. You're pretty well gunned up. I mean, I would like to you to have not have advanced quite so far up into the enemy. That face. A uh, gentleman in Scotland. Too bad I have no need for gentlemen in the British Isles. Port, economy, port, sloop. I mean, so I've not upgraded. I've really neglected my duties in terms of upgrading my economy in favour of more interesting tasks. Mr. Traeger. Chris Traeger! <gasps> Chris Traeger! From Parks and Rec. That's so cool. <laughs> Christian Traeger. I saw Traeger, I was like, I hope his name's Chris. 
Oh my god, it is! So. Venice. Ally of New Spain. Moriarty. I'm trading with New Spain. I'm not at war with them anymore, but I will be now. Declare war. Nope. They did not join them. Go on, let's go and attack Venice. Take Cagliari. And that will be another faction destroyed. That might be taking out some of our precious end turn time. Nicely done. Chris Traeger's... <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, trial by fire. Don't worry, Bruce. Don't worry, Venice. We're just trying to help you. Okay. Form two distinct wings. Go around the town. Cavalry go through the middle. Skirmishes on skirmish cavalry on the flank. Gemma on the left. Storm the enemy gun line. And I do mean storm it. These demi cannons can't hit anything. And that's a pretty neat formation. There's some guns up here, although there's a, there's a very limit to what they can actually hit. Maybe a puckle gun or some like blunderbuss skirmishes. I mean, it's normally quite not a very good idea to have cavalry inside a town because you lose. Oh, you can get all yeah. Work out how to get all the way around. Think they are kind of screwed. Just getting my artillery to focus on other things because we aren't particularly bothered about the guns. They run up to the guns in point blank range. Scatira. Go some shots and now slamming into the line. Oh no, these European mercenaries, what are you doing? Right behind you! Watch out, fella! They're right here! The mortars have started firing by the sounds of it. Send my infantry to clear them out. The only reason they got bypassed was because they didn't look like they were actually going to be doing anything. Even try to get up top of the hill. I mean, they're not going to be around for very long. Keep the melee attack going on. Sars, hit them. Oh, Marines coming in. Take them out. Hit this response. Keep the guns firing together. Keep the howitzers firing together. It's a bit safer. Go on, Chris Traeger. Keep on driving through. And 
and he went former. Just yeah, go for the go for the reg. Go for the uh, infantry in the town. Give this infantry orders to attack the demi cannons. There you go. Nice, big old infantry fight. Let's bring up Chris Traeger. Okay, we're going to put volleys into the first foot guard marines. That's right. Break you devils! Very impressive. Actually, they wouldn't think they might defeat my Hussars. Even attack the demi cannons, these units just run straight past them. Okay, got us another break. Former defensive line. There go the Marines. Push up. Human attack the infantry. Oh. Oh, still going. Gunners. Gunners try to bounce some shots off into the general's bodyguard. They might be coming in, depending on how quick I was. Oh! Seize fire. Bit of a bloodbath, this one. Go on, Grandiers, go get him. Charge the citizenry. Everyone charged the citizenry. That's all they've got left. Apart from... Actually, some of the units, other units did actually come back. Gunners, you now have a target. Form up. Guns can engage at range. How it's shells coming in. Couple of good hits. Who's that? The enemy general is deciding he's not had enough of this. So next pan infantry are attacking the first regiment, artillery and everyone cease fire. Charge! Ah, you scallywags. You thought you could take over a territory and not have someone like me decide otherwise? Yeah, this cavalry is going to be focusing on going after General's bodyguard, not engaging. First regiment of foot. Sorry, charging infantry, they're after a different quarry. These men are all charging in an orderly fashion. Enemy general is dead. Have a duel, Venice is done. Oh, my Freikorps cavalry didn't even get involved. They were so exposed out on the flank, I just forgot about him. Hurrah! Nice. So that is at least one island. Uh, one island in the Med captured. So let's get a galley to occupy it. Can't repair the gun building, can't replenish the army. But still, more taxes for the tax guard. Then we can land and take Valletta. And then we officially own the entire Mediterranean. 
So then all of these garrison ships and so on are uh, that much less required. Cool. Okay, let's hit in turn and see how the AI responds to what we've done. Ooh. So that's the garrison coming in. Oh, and only this small stack coming in, not the rest of the Russian army. But I'll take it. For looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.